through through one of the, the the videos that we were watching that well when I was watching Tan Sri and you had mentioned that your mother had mentioned to you that you were different. <laughs> Did you yeah. ever feel that you were different or you were destined to be a leader or there's a sense of destiny to it from 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 young? You know, I like leading. I wouldn't lie about it. Uh, when I was in school, um, I was always the president of something or you know, secretary of another organization. I always liked the leadership roles because I felt, you know, I've, I, I really like bringing people together and, you know, just it's leading. I like communicating. Um, I like to see things being shaped and success, you know, success coming out of it. So I guess in many ways, you know, I, I really liked being a leader. In the family, I'm actually the youngest of all my siblings. We have a very large family. Um, and my father died very young. Uh, um, or rather, my father died when I was very young. And my mother had to go to work yes. <clears throat> and to bring us all up. And uh, and she had to. She gave me all sorts of different tasks. Like, I was responsible to make sure that some of the family members of my father in Singapore had... Know, school books and school shoes yes. and stuff you know and I was 14 years old and yes. I couldn't understand why she was doing this but I guess you know mothers always know about their children and you know what what they like and she must have observed me to be different from everybody else and I think she shaped me as well and helped me you know become what I am today yes. and she was a leader herself you know she was an entrepreneur and she was you know, very, very hardworking, yes. and you know, she always told us nothing comes easy. Everything is with hard work. Yes. Um, so, you know, I guess the short of it is yes. I think, you know, my leadership mold was created from young. You know, from from home, uh, from my teenage years, and then school, in university, I was always trying to lead something or be a part of a leadership movement. Yes. And uh, and therefore it kind of you know I guess it comes naturally to me, but I also believe you can create leaders. Mm -hmm. um, I think you know in my time, for example, with Muslim Malaysia, I've always made sure that some of the younger ones or you know people who work with me would go out and become leaders themselves mm -hmm. and and try to push that and you know and, and leadership requires mentorship and, and sponsorship. Yes. So I'm very lucky because I have a group of mentors who really care about me, who who are willing to to tell me what I may not want to hear. And I surround myself with these people. I don't surround myself with people who will tell me how good I am. Mm. You know, you can get that easily, but it's much more difficult to get real friends who will actually tell you when you're not doing so well, mm. or why you're not doing so well, or to tell you when they think you might be behaving, you know, not the right way or whatever. Mm. And, and, and the other group, of course, is sponsorship. So to find people who really believe in your cause and give you a push. And, and you know, I was very fortunate in my life that I've always been able to find those people. Yes. And, you know, and now, you know, trying to also do the same with the younger generation. Yes.